This is a video I promised to do today for you. This is an Australian stock whip. I'm just going to move back a little bit. Um, this part of the stock whip is called the stock crop. It's a handle, it's generally 21 inches long. This part is called the stock thong. This is 6 foot long by 8 span. This part here is called the fall, and this part here is called the cracker. The part, part of the whip that just takes all the pressure, the whip travels at something like 700 feet a second. Uh, and the noise that the whip makes when it cracks, which is this, is uh, the whip breaking the sound barrier. Now, I asked a lot how to, uh, by people how to crack a whip. For one thing, you don't crack whips on concrete. Uh, it ruins them. No good for them. You don't crack them on wet grass. You don't crack them on bitumen roads. When you do crack them, always put a bit of grease on this part, the last foot of this thong, and all of the fall. Every time you use it, you'll find it's pretty good. In Australia, we're the only country in the world that uses a two-piece whip like this. There's a piece of English spring steel up the centre of this whip, which, which gives it beautiful resilience and movement. In here, there's there's a belly which is around about or well, two thirds of the length of the whip. Whips work on a thing called kinetic energy, and that energy is transferred out of your hand and goes into the handle and up through this transition part of the whip and down through the thong. Don't no, just turn sideways. Don't get into the habit of thinking you're doing good things by cracking a whip like that. The end of the whip will come back and hit you in the eye. So, so don't do it. What you've got to do is put your thumb here, lay, lay it along the handle with the ball of the whip, the knob, the Turk's head in your hand. And the main thing is throw it up. Don't throw it up in this fashion because it'll hit you in the ear. Throw it up. I'll just move back a little bit. Throw it up so that you form a good arc in it. Throw it right up in the air. Don't, don't think that you're going to throw it up in the air and suddenly stop like that and smile and say, aren't I sensational? Once you've done that, just throw it up and just follow through. Throw it up and follow through. Throw it up and follow through. And you can see how far back it's going. And you don't have to make a lot of noise with it. It forms a little loop and it'll crack exactly where you want it to. The idea too is not to have the whip bounce back and hit you in the face or anything like that. It's got a lay where it's finished. Once it's finished, you can turn it around and crack it behind you. You can take it over that shoulder and crack it. You can crack it right there like that. You can do what's called an out of head and crack it there like that. Uh, my poor old cattle dog barking in the background. Uh, you can crack it left-handed, right-handed. This is, you can crack it here. In Australia, we have a thing called uh, uh, the Sydney Flash, which is cracked like this. This is that's a Sydney Flash. As I said, this one's an arrowhead, which is just a continuation of a volley. This is what they call a coachman's crack. Make the whip lay here beside me. Uh, and the and the stock crack. So again, this is just a this is the uh, coachman's crack. And that was when you were driving coach horses. You didn't throw the whip out. You made it lie beside you. You could do it this way as well. It just lays there beside the wheel. If you were working exotic animals in a in a ring, you would use this uh, coachman's crack as well, mainly because. All around you are pedestals and uh, lions and tigers sitting on them, and you didn't want to crack your whip and follow it through and chop Leo across the snotter because he'd raise him and give you a swipe with his big glory hand. Anyway, again, hold your whip out there in front with your thumb along it and, and put some effort into throwing it up like that, but do not stop. Throw it up, turn your wrist over and bring it forward and lower your hand. Right back. See where, see where my wrist is? Angled back at around about 2 o'clock. That's where you need to be. Some people have cut, cut it like that. I don't. When I'm sitting on a horse, 
I just throw it out in front of me like that. We use what happened in the industry here in Australia. Um, well, a fella stopped using stock whips because they were riding motorbikes, and the uh, and the all the controls from motorbike are on the right hand side. And most people are right handed. That's why we mount horses the way we do. And, and of course, being right handed, you couldn't work the controls of the bike. And fellas never used stock whips. Cattle got silly. They're better off with horses. And now people on the land are slowly just realising um, the advantage of a horse. I'll just go through this again with you. Throw the whip out in front of you. Put your thumb along there. Throw it up and just bring it down. If you can do that whilst you're practising, that's all you need. Because to make that louder, I can put it back here and crack it like that, or I can just bring it like that and make it puff. Uh, you can crack it above your head as well, which is a, they call it a helicopter, but that in fact is just a volley, and this is a volley as well. Anyway, that's all I can do for you, so I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much. See you again.